hello, hello, hello. We are kind of by the spawn, and I'm just heading back home. Um, not a lot to do on the server lately, but I've been busy. <laughs> uh, let's see, one of these. One of these is all I need for some iron. Nothing fancy, no fancy pick required. Oh, someone wanted me to show them for the new viewers some of the enchantments and stuff that I have on my armor and on my picks and on my tools and stuff. Uh, this probably isn't a very safe place for it, but, uh, what the, but, uh, I'll do it here anyway. <laughs> so let's see, uh, on my helmet, that's what I've got. Projectile Protection 4, which is kind of crappy. I used to have a Protection 4, Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1, Unbreaking 3, and actually had thorns on it too. Uh, but that one broke, and it was just too good. <laughs> so I couldn't replace it. That's the best I can do. My chest plate is Protection 4, Thorns 2, Unbreaking 3. Pants are Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. And my rubber booties are protection four, feather falling four. So that's that's the armor for the tools. I've got an unbreaking three, efficiency four, fortune three. Uh, this one's silk touch, efficiency five, um, fortune two, unbreaking three, uh, efficiency three. And this one's my shovel, awesome shovel, efficiency five shovel. Uh, my sword is a knockback 2, looting 3, smite 5, unbreaking 3, fire aspect 2. So it is a really cool sword, except that I wish that it had sharpness rather than smite. But you can't win them all, right? I'd say that's a pretty good sword anyway. Uh, and has lasted me a long, long, long time. Now, of course, you can see, though, that my sword there is just about to break. So I can't repair it. It's just too expensive. You know, that's the problem with enchanting things almost too good. The second that you add anything to them, it's too good. So on my sword, I probably added smite to it to make it a little bit better smite. And it's just, it's too expensive now. I can't do anything. I also added unbreaking three, uh, which I got. I got two unbreaking three books and I used them. Oh, yes, I did. So, that made it way too expensive. I can't fix it, so I will have to get a new diamond sword eventually, which will be a sad day. But at the same time, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to see seeing what we've got coming for us. Now, this wall. Look at how beautiful this thing is coming along. I love it. Um, I was just working on this yesterday. Um... And I thought that I'd continue some of it today. I've also got it... Uh, excuse me while I nom. I've also got this side done. The pi the pillar thingy. My bobber. Sort of done. It doesn't have the archway thing yet. But maybe soon. And I continued the wall uh, in this direction. So that's looking good. Uh, we can see in the distance one of the new guys. I don't know which one. One of the new peoples has their little temporary base right there. So that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> I was actually going to take this wall. I was going to come with this wall. If we follow the line that it follows, which is kind of like that one, it leads like right into where that log post is. I was thinking about maybe going across the water and everything. Making a nice big water gate and and then coming across the other way. Well, now i got to change my plans a little bit. And I, I agree that I can't hog all the land. So I'm going to be probably stopping this wall at the water and then figuring out from there what I want to do. Maybe I'll put another pillar kind of like that one. We'll see. I don't know yet, but until I figure that out, I'm going to continue it. Where's that spider? I can hear it. Whoa! There you are. There you are. Use my almost dead sword burnt. Alright. So the first thing to do, though, is to layer it up with some dirt. And, uh, oh, on today we've got Drew, who happened to stop by. I guess he's taking a break from the, uh, 
the Feed the Beast server. And we've also got a newbie on by the name of Yuki. And she won a contest to get on. I think there are a couple other contest winners who are coming on the server fairly soon. Um, and also other people have been giving lots of suggestions and stuff. So I don't know what's happening with new people coming on and all that kind of stuff. I'm so uninvolved with that. It's all Drew's doing. Uh, the inviting and hiring and doing that kind of stuff. So, I just sit back and watch. And I enjoy. <laughs> but here we are. We're on the server with new people. So, you gotta be on your best behavior. Which, of course, we lack the ability of doing. So, it's interesting. Alright, so that is good that way. I can go up to there at least. I'll have to continue this, obviously. Right? I'll have to... Uh, Go out by two, probably, because I want to continue the steps like this, like I've done on the other side, right? So maybe I'll do that. I'll get the steps. I don't have any in my inventory right now because I put them away. Ah, but yeah, I, I loved that, uh, the episode that I made. Right now, I just did a, a episode, and I don't, again, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to say words, but they're not coming out. This recording is done... A lot sooner than you see it and I, I know that I'm starting to catch up doing these videos three times a week now where are they I'm here yeah three times a week I do these videos so it is catching up slowly um, but very slowly I guess I could say because by the time you watch this a lot of things will have happened so forgive me if I'm talking like I'm from the past, it's just because I basically am. Um, what I want to say is that I just did a recording with a bunch of people, and I had a lot of fun. It wasn't the Red Cube people, which is like a shocker, but... And I know already uh, some of the comments were like, where is so-and-so, and where is this guy and this guy? And it's like, well, they're on Red Cubed, and this isn't Red Cubed right now. This is something else. So... It is new. Um, I was actually invited to play a game with this guy by the name of Sushi X. And he, it's kind of funny, is the guy who showed me uh, the City of Love mod. Or uh, map. It's not a mod. I keep th just out of habit saying it's a mod because it's just so unique. But no, it's just a map. Custom adventure map. Anyway, this, this guy randomly PM'd me out of the blue one day. And uh, I was looking at his channel, and he had this City of Love thing going. And, oh, I just, at that time, I was just about to go on holiday. Um, and I decided, yep, I am totally stealing that idea from this Sushi X guy. I want to do the City of Love, because it is such a cool map. It's just so unique in everything about it. So... I started doing it, I started recording it, and then I realized, like, this guy had asked me if I wanted to do something with him. And here I was, I wasn't completely ignoring him, but I wasn't replying to anything, because I was on holiday, uh, and that kind of stuff, and when I got back from holiday, I was so lost in what I was doing. Is this music louder than it usually is? Hold on. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my... You know what? I always do that. I have my, my own sound turned up. And the game sound seems loud or something. I don't know. Anyway. Finally, I get back to him. And I'm like, yeah. You know what? Let's do something. Because you inspired me to do that mod. It's very, very cool. So, map. Map. It's not a mod. It's a map. So, I started to uh, try to figure out what we were going to do together. And he said something like, um, you know, maybe we could just do... Like a survival games or, you know, something like that. And, you know, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't do a lot of survival games. That's for sure. Uh, and I don't do a lot of other custom maps and, you know, one-off survival maps. Uh, but, it seemed interesting. I You know what? I gave the guy a chance. And, so, okay. I say yes. Let's do one. Drew! 
You abandon her? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Wait, is that innuendo? But anyway. Uh, oh! You'll get to see my chat. Look at my chat. Okay. Let's say, let's see, um, um, I'm letting you guys read it. Because it's, it's kind of funny. We were talking about all kinds of crap. <laughs> Just messing around. As we usually do. But anyway. Let's see. I'm recording now. Say you love me. So anyway. Where was I with that story? I gave him a chance. I thought, yeah, that'd be cool to record with him. What? What? It's not enough. What 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 do you mean it's not enough? Drew, Drew tell me what you mean. Eh? The he doesn't think the internet? Oh. Oh. Okay then. So anyway, so that I'm not distracted by the chat going on. Um where did I just put all that spruce that I had? Did I... Oh, did I put it in one of the chests that I didn't mean to? Uh, I don't know. I started playing with this Sushi X guy, or I, I wanted to. And... All of a sudden... Wow! It came in the form of Nalzam. All right, so I must have put it away. I guess I did. Yeah, I did. Um, man, my story is getting... I'm paying too much attention to the chat. Okay, let me focus. Sushi X and I were trying to figure out what we were going to do. And finally I said, yes, let's do something. So I thought it would just be me and him. And all of a sudden, bam, I'm in a chat with a whole bunch of other guys and I don't know who they are and I was like okay wait what did you just do like I don't want my Skype name everywhere for anyone you know that's just it's private honestly I give it to friends only and and that's basically how it stays so without permission he goes and he throws me into this chat room full of people and all of a sudden all these other people not only know my Skype name, but they know that I'm there and that I'm going to play with them and stuff like that. And it's like, what the heck is going on? I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep having to run back down to get stuff, but we are going to make this wall beautiful. So, all of a sudden, I'm in this Skype chat with a whole bunch of other people. But they're really cool people, it turns out. So we start playing this really old, actually it's a um, The Walls by Hypixel like, probably his first map, or it's gotta be one of the first uh, I remember when it first came out that we were all playing it, me and a few friends and stuff uh, which was really fun, and then we ended up playing like The Walls 2 and all that kind of stuff, so it was kind of a throwback to the old days of Minecraft togetherness and I liked it. It was like, okay, this is fun. And turns out that a lot of the people in the chat were also YouTubers. So it was kind of like a YouTuber get-together. And I gotta tell you, I had more fun than I've had in a long time. It was a, it was a nice change from the usual, getting to do that kind of thing. Um, I just, I loved it. And I'd do it again. So what we're doing now, we're kind of planning a podcast, and I feel bad for Sushi X, and I don't know if by the time you, you see this video, uh, if it's going to be live, or if it's going to be like failed idea or what, but yeah, we want to do a podcast with basically the same group from the walls, which I think would be very, very fun to do. Did I get more than this? Yeah, I did. Good. I think that would be very fun to do. But you can tell that we take absolutely nothing serious. 
like when we're planning it and stuff, um, we're trying at this point to think up a name, and right now we have absolutely no idea for a name. <laughs> uh, and one person says to this sushi guy, like, okay, you think up the name, because this is basically going to be your thing on your own channel and this and that. And he's like, no, it's not going to be on my channel. It's going to be on its own channel. It's going to be its own monster. And we're all going to get together on this other channel, basically, and in a Skype chat or something. And uh, we're going to do it. We are going to make a podcast about gaming, about Minecraft, about this and that. So that's kind of fun idea. I like that idea. But we can't take anything, anything seriously. Um, so we, we haven't really been helping him think up a name. <laughs> He's like, please, guys, let's find a name. And just silence. Silence in the chat for hours. And I feel bad, but at the same time, it's like, I don't have any ideas. I actually honestly sat here thinking about it and could not think up anything creative that would look or uh, sound good or, you know, I just, I'm not creative when it comes to that kind of stuff, I guess. Naming of a podcast. How often do I need to do that? Uh, but he was like, okay, something Minecraft related and uh, trying to get ideas out of people like what's your favorite mob uh, and that kind of thing. But I'm like thinking to myself, well, it doesn't have to be Minecraft related necessarily. Yeah, we're all on Minecraft. We're all, we all met there and stuff. But if we're going to be talking about generic games and things like that, then it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. And I... I don't think that anything named after a mob would sound good, necessarily. So, it's tough. It is tough. But I am excited for it anyway. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be something if it isn't already by the time you watch this. Uh, in any case, I, I hope that we do some kind of like a recording session in the future with the same group of people, or at least some of the same group of people, because I really had fun with those guys. Um, the other thing that's going on right now is the UHC. Now, again, I don't know when I'm posting this episode, uh, or how far we're in the UHC. I'm not going to spoil anything just in case, right? Uh, but it should be started by now on our channels. Uh, just about everyone from RedCubed is on there, minus a few, so go check everybody out. Have fun watching all those thingies. I love it. I love it. I always loved doing uh, UHC with friends of mine, uh, people from the Minecraft fan server and stuff. Uh, always loved doing UHC. So to do it again after such a long hiatus myself uh, and to see people who had never played it before or even heard of it for that matter, it was kind of fun. It was like, oh, it's just another throwback to like how Minecraft used to be for me and that's that's fun to do, you know? Um, get away from the usual same recording, same recording, same recording. Oh, what's Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday? Dinosaurs. What's Wednesday and Saturday? It's Lion King and Pokemon every other day. And it's like, it, it can get repetitive. So to be able to go back and do something that you haven't done in a long time, it's definitely fun. Okay, this wall's coming along nicely. What I wanted to do at the top here, I'm not sure yet. I was thinking of maybe repeating this kind of look. Oop, I think I missed a block. Yes, I did. There we go. Um, wait, hold on. Like this. How do I make this look good? Like that. Like that. Yes, there we go. Uh, I was thinking of continuing it like this, kind of like the upside down stairs like that. But I'm not sure because I don't know if that would look good. Um... Or if I want to do something else. I was thinking maybe a different color of block or a different type of block material all the way around here just to kind of connect it. Might look good. I don't know. Can't decide. I'm very indecisive. I have to kind of play around with a few things, I think, and just see how it's going to look. And then after that, um, man, I just got something in my eye feels like my eye is actually falling off. Ouch. Oh, did it, did it come free? Oh, that is the best feeling ever. 
<laughs> now, the the project that I wanted to show you guys, and I kind of hit it before. I think I'm going to show you right now because it's not finished, but I just started it. I literally only spent about 15 minutes on it. Uh, and you still won't know what it is. So, it'll still be a surprise in the end. This is all that I'll show you until it's done. Okay? This is it. Alright? You've seen it? Now I'm looking away. <laughs> you don't get to see the rest until it is done. Whereas with this, I started working on uh, the redstone part up there. Not Well, yeah, it is redstone with the redstone lamps and stuff. Um just started working on them I'm almost finished like that one up there is basically done that one has about 50% done that one no percent done uh, but I did go to the nether I got lost I was so very lost again I came out with uh, glowstone but I don't have it on me I had about two or three stacks of glowstone that I came out with so now I gotta do some caving get more redstone get some lamps going it's a huge process. Everything's always a process, right? Ah, oh, so much work to do. Vanilla Minecraft, everybody. Projects can take so long. And of course, I have not finished the uh, roof. Lightning proofing. And this building. I mean, it's depressing seeing this one not even as done as this one. So, I'm going to work on that maybe... I don't know. I'm just not liking the way that this is looking at the top. So I might tear that all down. And maybe join them up across there. We'll see. We shall see. I've got some ideas, but it's hard to say what we're going to do yet. In the meantime, I think that's good for an episode. We basically covered what we're doing in the week, and we worked on that wall, that beautiful wall. Um, I am going to be lighting it up with some either redstone lamps or glowstone. And I will be putting, like, unique blocks in between some of the pieces. I have an idea for what block that could be. But it'll look nice when it's all done. It'll be glowing nice and light and none of these guys spawning because there won't be any place for them to spawn. And Yep, it'll be good. So, until next time, I think we will see you... Ah. <sighs> Alright. Wait, did I just say until next time I think we will see you? Am I going to just stalk you at home? Maybe. That'll be a surprise. But we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>